Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with a program or a folder. You got the error. Windows cannot access the space by device, path or file. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, make sure the path that you are trying to access is currently available. For doing so, right click on the application and choose option properties. Here click on general tab and make sure under the location just go ahead, select the path, copy, open file explorer and the address bar, paste by pressing the control plus V key and hit the enter key. So make sure once you hit the enter key, the path must be available and opened. Else you keep on getting the error. And next is head over to settings menu, choose windows update, over here scroll down and you will find the option of windows insider program. Over here. If you are signed up for the Windows Insider program, make sure you leave the Insider program by clicking on this particular link. After you leave the Windows Insider program, go ahead and try to launch the program to fix out the issue of Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. If this failed to work out and if you are getting this particular error with Windows applications such as Notepad, Media Player or Windows Store, go ahead and re-register those applications. For that, Click on start menu and type PowerShell. Run PowerShell as an administrator. In PowerShell, you need to paste a command. I'll provide this command in the description of this video. Just copy and paste right over here by pressing the control plus V key and then hit the enter key. This will go ahead and re-register all the Windows app and in turns help you fix out the issue of Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. Now go ahead and minimize it and wait for it to re-register all the apps for you. In the meantime, if this also doesn't work, let's proceed with the next step. So whichever game or application is giving you the error, you need to right click on it and choose the option properties. Click on security tab and here under the permissions, click on the option edit. From here, under these four username or groups, make sure all the options must be check mark as I am doing right over here. Once check mark each of the options available under the allow, hit apply and ok button. Now if still doesn't work, you need to click on this advanced settings. Here click on the option change. Now click on the option advanced. Now click on the option find now. From here you need to find the username of your system. At my end it is with the name of visit. So I'll go ahead and select it and hit the option OK. Now click on the option OK. Once done, check mark the option replace owner or sub containers and object. Once you have done these changes, hit apply and OK button. After doing this, go ahead, restart your PC and this will completely fix out the issue of Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. Now if all the method fails, click on start menu, type CMD, run CMD as an administrator. Here you need to paste two different commands one by one. First one is sfc space slash scan now and then hit the enter key. Wait for this command to completely finish scanning and repairing your files for you. Once it is completed, type in another command dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health and then hit the enter key again. Now again wait for this command also to finish fixing the files for you. Once these both the comments are completed, go ahead and restart your PC. Once restarted, go ahead and try to check. This will completely fix out the issue of Windows cannot access the specified device, path or file. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.